Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. <clears throat> now, we got good news in the welterweight division. Listen, you know, it's a big fight. I won't say huge, but it's a big fight. You got number one pound for pound, Terrence Bud Crawford, three division champ, right? Finally fighting somebody from the PBC, which we keep talking about. You know, he's fighting Sean Porter, who is a perennial, I'm awesome kind of dude, right? I think he was a two-time champ, IBF and WBC in the welterweight division. Uh, he's had great fights against everybody. There's never any separation in any of his losses. He's, I think he's got three losses. I think it was uh, Kell Brook. Very close. Could have went either way. Um, Errol Spence, very close. Many people think that fight was so close that Errol Spence, if Errol Spence didn't have him down late, then uh, even Sean Porter wouldn't have won that fight. And Sean Porter lost to somebody else, too. And I'm not sure right now. I think Keith Thurman, yeah, also in a close fight. So all those names, Keith Thurman, uh, Errol Spence, right, Kell Brook, all great fighters. Now, Kell Brook, though, when Terrence Crawford fights him, then all of a sudden he's not that good. Here's the deal, though. Let me get into what I'm trying to say. Your boy Terrence Bud Crawford and Sean Porter have been going back and forth for a while, uh, and now the fight's going to happen. They won't even go to a port purse bid. It's going to be at the end of November, if I'm not mistaken. So the fight is on. We don't even have a purse bid. That's great. That's good news because they're both going to show up, right? This is going to be one of the biggest fights of the year because they're both going to show up. What my issue is, right, because I'm not really hyped about this fight. For me, it's an okay fight. I think it's a good fight. But I would rather have Terrence Crawford to have fought Errol Spence or Manny Pacquiao. Because the, the boxing community don't really want to fathom that Pacquiao is scared of Terrence Crawford for all these years. I need people to understand that, right, and that Errol Spence can't fight him either. Right? He didn't want to fight Porter because Porter lost to Errol Spence. Right? Now, and here's another thing that's bothering me. Everybody's happy about this fight. Him and Sean Porter, this is finally a, a, a very hard opponent. I don't like that narrative because Terrence Crawford has had hard opponents already. He's had a lot of them, and they just make them, after he beats them easy, then they make them like they're not. We're going to act like Felix Diaz was undefeated when Terrence Crawford beat him. Yeah, he had a loss against uh, Lamont Peterson, but most people think he won that fight. This is basically an undefeated guy. Victor Postal was all that. I think Victor Postal before the fight was probably more formidable than Sean Porter right now. Sean Porter only is because he's bigger. But Victor Postal was awesome at that time, just coming off Lucas Matisse. So I'm not really, you know, all this, he ain't fought nobody. Gamboa, my boy, a little bit smaller than Terrence Crawford, but coming in there with, with, with a whole lot of skills and undefeated at the time. Right, those are O's that have been taken. Then in the welterweight, well, in welterweight, he hasn't fought nobody. Kell Brook beat Sean Porter. So why is Sean Porter considered better than Kell Brook with the same amount of losses? And Kell Brook lost to Gennady Golovkin, two weight divisions higher. Gave uh, Errol Spence all he can handle back and move him back down from weight. Right? The only one who beat Kell Brook real bad was Terrence Crawford. Right? But all of a sudden, Sean Porter is considered better than Kell Brook, even though he lost to Kell Brook. Because Kell Brook lost badly to Terrence Crawford. Right? Cavalicus was undefeated. Jose Benavides was undefeated. Jeff Horn just was undefeated and just beat the hell out of Manny Pacquiao. And people just won't go look at the fight again to find out, yeah, he beat Manny Pacquiao. Because Pacquiao had round nine and got a 10 8 round against Jeff Horn in round nine because he was. He was hurt, Jeff Horn, but Horn stood up. That means this is 10-9. That's what standing up means. So it's just a, that's a myth that Terrence Crawford hasn't fought anybody. He didn't fought PBC guys, but PBC guys didn't want to fight him. All of them. Danny Garcia could have fought him by now. Keith Thurman could have fought him by now. Sean Porter could have fought him by now. All of them. They all wanted to fight Pacquiao when Pacquiao was at top rank. But for some reason, oh, he's on the other side of the street. Bullocks. Bull. No, that's not how that is. It's just Terrence Crawford. Listen, let's make sure this is clear. This is his third work di weight division. He's coming up in weight with the moniker number one pound for pound, right? If somebody comes up to your weight division, he's got the moniker number one pound for pound. He should not be doing any chasing. 
I know I'm repeating myself, but I got to make sure that's clear when we're talking Terrence Crawford because none of these other dudes have been called number one pound for pound, and most of these guys in the welterweight division have been there forever. Terrence Crawford is moving up in weight and wants to go and be undisputed and keep moving. Now, in Sean Porter, I love me some Sean Porter. This is going to be a good fight regardless because Sean Porter ain't going to be in nothing but a good fight. Right? I just want to know whatever happens. Now, if Sean Porter wins, it's awesome, which is possible because Sean Porter is basically a middleweight. It's going to be hard for Terrence Crawford to beat Sean Porter. It's going to be hard. But if Terrence Crawford does beat Sean Porter, I do not want to hear all of this stuff. What we're going to, right, is, well, Sean Porter had lost three fights already. Matter of fact, the Ugas fight, he supposedly had lost that one, right? All that stuff we're not saying before Terrence Crawford. That's why Terrence didn't want to fight him. Because for Terrence Crawford, now we're saying it's a great fight. If Terrence Crawford beats him, especially beats him good, oh, they, he's not going to be, it's not going to count again. Watch. Because it's not a title fight. Terrence Crawford's the only one who got something to lose. And uh, Sean Porter has three losses, official losses, and one where we think the Ugas beat him. And now the Ugas is the champ, we really think the Ugas beat him. See what I'm saying? So that's the issue. But let's just make sure that we get something clear. Terrence Crawford has fought top fights. This is not the best fighter he's ever fought, in my opinion. It's just uh, a rough, tough I'm coming to get you type of fighter, but I don't know if we can say he was better than Victor Postal at the time that Victor Postal fought him as an undefeated guy with a whole lot of confidence. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's better than Felix Diaz just because he's bigger than Felix Diaz, right? I'm not sure about that. That's the point. Like, John Porter is all that, but he didn't distance himself again in any of these fights, right? He didn't really distance himself against Danny Garcia, did he? Right? It was close fights against amongst all those, which means... Uh, your boy Sean Porter is an upper echelon, one of the best welterweights I, for sure, but he's not the very best welterweight, right? Now, that's the, that's the thing here. So let's see what happens. I'm happy that we got a fight or whatever. I would have liked to have seen Terrence Crawford versus Pacquiao. That was more would have been more significant. But this one we have, if we don't have a title fight, we don't have a unification fight, we don't have an undisputed fight, but we damn sure got a fight. So let's just enjoy it. Dome Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm out of here, y'all.